All right, you guys, get ready because we are back on the driveway. It is a complete full body dumbbell workout today. We're gonna hit every part of that body today by stoking the metabolism and lifting those moderate to heavy weights. Each move is done for one minute, so that's really gonna be focusing on some of that endurance and make sure you adjust your weight appropriately for that longer duration. That's right, we're gonna be burning fat and building muscle today with this full body workout just using dumbbells and your amazing body. Hey team, if you wanna level up your next workout, especially your strength training, and especially this kind of a workout, one hour before I do my workout, I have two of the L-carnitine gummies. These are great, they're a great flavor, they are sugar-free, and what they're gonna do here is they're gonna help you with recovery and help you speed up that metabolism, and especially when you are strength training. You guys can grab this 20% off, the link is in the description box below. Get it now so you can start transforming your body composition. Go ahead and roll your shoulders back. Set those feet. We're gonna warm things up. You gotta squat with a crescent knee. Drop in your squat and then open up that knee to the side. And as you get warmer, I want you to get a little bit deeper in those movements. And then you need to mentally get ready because each exercise today is done for 60 seconds. So just have that in mind when you're picking your load. Reverse lunge with the rotation. So lunge back and then rotate to the back. Step in and switch. We're gonna open up that waist, your chest, those hip flexors. Get to the back of your mat. We're gonna round it down. Walk out to that plank. Do a push up, down dog. And just take your time. So again, you're gonna move to that plank, push up, down dog. You can always drop to the knees in that push-up or take it out, just do down dog. Plank. Walk it back. Open up the legs, sumo swing with a chest opener. Now in that sumo swing, I want you to have just a slight bend in the knees, push your hips back. So you're warm up the hamstrings. We're gonna kick here. Alternate the kicks, reaching for the toe. How are you feeling today? You guys ready for this? Yeah, we're gonna get that whole body lit up here. All right, twist that waist out a little bit. We're gonna start off with a top load squat. I'm gonna be going in for my 30s. Load them up at the top, and we got that full minute team. Grab what you need, and we're coming back to that mat. Set those feet where you want them to be in that squat. Eyes are lifted, feet are open. Drop in that squat. Now, top load helps you to just drop a little bit lower in that squat. Diane's got a great option too if you wanna load at the bottom. Totally go what works for your body. Now, depending on what you have at home for weight, you know, if you got heavy, you're gonna be a little bit slower. If you don't have the heaviest weights that you could use, you could tempo up for sure. Now, 
Make sure your heels stay on the floor. Push your butt down and back. I like to inhale when I lower, exhale when I rise up. All right, we're getting ready for a Romanian deadlift. You do have 30 seconds. In that RDL, weights hang down in front. You push the hips back, feel a stretch in the back of the leg, and then rise up. And again, we have that whole minute, so pick the appropriate weight for you. Weights should be in your hands. Feet are open, a good shoulder width apart. In an RDL, look to your knees when you go down and then feel like you press them back as you rise up. And you'd be surprised how strong you are back there, right? And again, here's my breath. Inhale, I lower down. Exhale, I rise up. I got you captivated. I got the groove so tight. Let the haters hate it. I let my impulse run. I run that thing all night. Got my tongue so sharp. It's sharper than a knife. I'm crunching numbers. Yeah, I'm a wonder. I'm fast as lightning. And thick like thunder. I got the V. I got the algorithm. I got the V. Super job. 30 second break. Here. We're going to go back to that top load squat. And then if you want to level up just a little bit, we're going to find kind of that middle section and work it in there. What do you think about that? You can start loading yourself up here. Get those feet a little bit outside those shoulders. Let's start at the bottom, you guys. Drop and hold. Press it up. And a little more dramatic pause at the bottom, and then push yourself up. I'm going about half to three fourths of the way up. My elbows are touching my thighs. All right, get that chin off your chest. Look out in front. You like it. You love it. And if you need a break, you come all the way to the top for a moment, and then you go back down into it. Oh, you guys feeling it now? Oh, yeah. Super job. All right, going into that RDL. Now, if you work really hard, you do need that 30 seconds. Grab your weight. Remember, you're gonna have it long down in front of your thighs. Roll your shoulders back. You're gonna go for it, right? Push those hips back. Remember, you want to feel that stretch in the back of the legs. And again, look to your knees. Diane said she wants it to be harder. So when you come up, come up just so that you're just above the knees. Yeah, I heard that, didn't I? Everybody says I pick on Carol, so. I'm gonna hit you up, Diane. So remember, Maybe don't come up all the way. Pause for a moment, then go back down into it. Now, if your back is an issue, maybe you do come all the way up for a moment. Here, we'll push back, look to the knees, and then push them to the back as you rise up. Technique, repeating moves is super important. We get better at them. Great, we are done with that block. We're moving into bicep curls and renegade row. 
So that first movement, we're gonna be standing here, giving yourself a nice bicep curl. I'm gonna go for 20. You guys got what you want in your hands at this point. We're gonna do a little up turn as we go into that bicep curl. Roll your shoulders back. Remember, a full 60 seconds here. Just like I said in that first block, if you have lighter weights, you can go faster. You can find a mid-range. Another option, sit down or come to kneeling. That can make it harder. Brace your core, have softness in the knees. A lot of times we typically go 30 to 40 seconds, sort of working on a little endurance. You could just switch it up. Now, Renegade Row. You can take the option of hinging forward and pulling one arm and then the other, or come into that plank with me. Having the feet open, I'm gonna stick with my 20s. I'm gonna roll front arm and then back arm. Hands are under shoulders. Feet are wider than my mat. Chin is off the chest. Now when you row, you pull the weight towards your hip. Everything still shines down. Good. And if you're going to be standing, drop that chest so it's almost parallel to the floor. That's going to engage more of the back. Looking good. Now remember, strength training is what can change the shape of your body, the composition of your body. Super, we're gonna go back into that bicep curl. You can do a little dance to shake it out, right? And then adjust your weight. So if you need to go a little heavier or you need to lighten that load, but I still want you to challenge yourself. Go ahead and pick up those weights. I still have my 20s. I know you guys want to know what everybody else is using. So, Carol, what do you got in your hands? Carol's got 12 and a half. What do you guys behind me have? T tens and 15s. Super. Now remember, when it starts to get too heavy, and we're doing this, you got to watch your joints. Do you lighten the load? Give me that technique. Or work on down, the eccentric. You want to be like this. You want to be like this. Let me show you how to get it. You want to be like this. Then we want to keep those arms, elbows right by our side. What happens is that they want to go forward. Ah, let's not go there. Super, let's go into that renegade row. I'm gonna bump it up to 25. Or you just go into that bent over row and alternate them. Grab those weights, get yourself set into position here. You guys ready to go? Pull to that hip. Let me show you how to get it. 
Yes. So body composition means converting fat to muscle. That's a little bit harder to do as we age. And the only way to really do it is strength training, either using body weight or some type of resistance. Let me show you how to get like this, dumbbells. But it takes consistency and it takes time. Let me show you how to get it like me, get it, get it like me, cause the best is what I really might be. Let me show you how to get it. You wanna be like this, you wanna be like this. All right, you guys, you did awesome. We're gonna move into some legs now. We're gonna go into a static lunge. That means we're gonna keep your right leg forward, left leg goes back, and then just bend that front knee and push away. We're actually gonna face that garage. I'm gonna hold on to my 30s in each hand. Grab your weights, get set. Right leg forward, left leg is back. Bend and push, more so that front leg. You know me, I love a Bulgarian lunge with the foot up on the step, so if you want to do that at home, you definitely can. All right, I'm gonna lift my chin up, how about you? And you can lean a little bit forward, get some mobility in your ankle. And even this whole exercise workout could be done barefoot. It's about to go down. Great job. Oh, it is gonna go down though, because we got a lot of lunges to do here. Woo, heart rate should be up. That's a big movement. We're still same, face the same way, but switch your legs here. So you're gonna have that left leg staying, and your right leg will be back. Picking up those weights. Roll your shoulders back. And that front knee, and then push away. Open up your chest. And remember, change tempo depending on what you have in your hands. Things that can make it harder, right? More dramatic pause at the bottom. It's about to and a slow push time. back. So I want you using your heaviest weights that you can for these movements right now. Because your legs are so strong. You want them to be strong. Carry you through the rest of your life. Now, if you did not go for your heaviest weights, I wanna challenge you, go for it. Mine are up for grabs too. Yeah, nobody grabbed them. <laughs> okay, we're gonna switch legs. Cause they know what's up next, right? Okay, back into that lunge, right leg is forward. Let's start at the bottom. Start at the bottom, push away. You've seen me do this too, where we have our foot up on a, like a little stack of books. That's tough too. Now remember, you never want to miss leg day. Why? It's a big burner, you guys. It can really help you with your metabolism. These are big muscles in your body. We 
but it's getting tough. How about you? All right, I love that. Love that push. You guys did awesome. Okay, we're gonna do that other leg. How's it feeling though? Feeling good, right? All right, that 30 seconds gives you enough time to really catch your breath, feel a little refreshed. Grab your weight. Because now you're ready. Right, Jen? All right, start at the bottom. Push it away. Try different stances. Sometimes like a further away stance can feel good one day versus a closer stance. Remember, the leg in the front is the one that's really bending. you feel like you need a break yeah guess what we got some more lunges this next one is a reverse lunge just one dumbbell so I'm gonna hold on to 130 yeah you know it now you're gonna keep it in your right hand as your right leg stays we're still gonna face the same way you're gonna step back and then step in so step back, step in. A little offset, which is good for us. And when I'm lunging back, my back knee just kisses the mat. getting a lot more reps because you lighten the load it's just a little bit easier to move super job way down shake out your hands right you can even stretch out those hands a little bit especially when you've been holding on to heavy weights roll your wrists okay switch that leg everything's in the left Start at the front of your mat. And then we're gonna step back. Step it back. Pull it forward. First one's usually wobbly. This is very functional too, like you're picking something off the floor by using your legs. <laughs> or Jen was stacking wood all day. A workout right there. Again, look out in front. It's okay, your eye gets can drop down for a moment, and then you want it to come up with you. You also get your core here by that off balance. Nice job. One more set on each leg here. You can do it. Take a deep breath. Set that intention, right? Mentally, 
pick it up. Start at the front of your mat. Remember, it's so a right, right. Shoulders back. Now, do something a little different. Maybe you tip more forward as you step back. Or maybe you move faster. Maybe you don't tap the mat and you do a knee up. All right, so there's always options. Kind of looking that knee up. Because you'll balance. Let your breath flow. Great job. Just to give you an idea of where my heart rate is there. I was about 139. So that's like a little burst of cardio, but not super high intense. Okay, we're gonna switch that leg. Weight is in your hand. Get the front of your mat. Eyes are up. Remember, I want you to do something a little different. Is that front leg that's doing all the work here? Let your arm be heavy, long. That was super awesome. Now we're getting ready. We got a chest press, and then we're gonna go into a kneeling overhead extension. So you're gonna be on your back for chest press. And then come on your knees. I'm gonna use two dumbbells, a 12 and a half for the overhead extension. Get ready, on your back. Weights are up. I got my 30s. Elbows tap the floor, press it back up. Or you could be on a bench, you could be on a ball. Remember, it is that 60 second. Inhale, you lower. Exhale, you push through the heels of the hands here. I do want to remind you, if you don't want to come to your knees, you're going to stand up, grab either one or two dumbbells, and you're going to go into that overhead extension. But you got 30 seconds to figure it out. Oh, super job. Okay, figure out where you want to be. I'm gonna be on my knees. Weights are gonna be up at the top. Everybody's good? If you need to, you fold up your mat. I'm gonna start with my weights up. Let's start with them down. How about that? Let's start with them down here. Elbows kind of lock in. Hips are off your heels. Press it up. Oh my gosh, one minute. I don't know if I can do 12 and a half. My weights are actually touching. All 
All right, here's a little side view here. <clears throat> Squeeze your butt a little bit. You can lean back a tiny bit too. Makes it feel different. Ooh, I might be reaching for your waist pretty soon, Jen. And remember, if it starts to get tough, all right, you can take a little pause at the top and then go back into it. Ooh. all I could do. Right, we want to get that place. We want to feel like we're challenging ourselves. Back into that chest press. How are you doing at home? That's great. <laughs> These guys laughed because I heard you. They didn't hear you. I heard you. <laughs> Whatever you said, it's great. <laughs> Wait this up. <laughs> All right, here it is. Now I'm, I'm gonna struggle, I know that, because I was doing some chest yesterday. So I'm gonna start doing some alternating, but you are doing both of them. Unless your chest is like mine, a little tired. Oh yeah, are you ready? Come on, you can do this. This workout didn't have a lot of upper body in it, but the upper body it has, I really want you to work hard. Oh, that's it. Here we go, overhead extension. In that kneeling position here. I'm gonna use one dumbbell, I'm gonna use my 20. on those knees, or to get to standing. Ooh. Bend your elbows, you can start at the bottom, that does make it a little bit harder. Press it up. And it's good to change hand position too, so you could hold on to, like I'm doing on each side, or you could do a little diamond hold on it, on one side. Super lucky to be out here. It's March right now. The start of spring here. Ooh, I feel it. How about you? Ooh. all I could do. Great job. All right, you're gonna take your mat, fold it up a few times so that you can put your heels on it for some sissy squats. Yeah. And you're gonna load at the chest. You guys better hustle. But, ready. Now, I want you to have maybe heels in, toes turn out slightly. This gets a little more dominated in that quad. And I'm gonna find kind of mid range. I'm gonna go to the tempo. Because I want you to feel it. Drop it low. If 
you get too fatigued, get rid of the weight and still move. Oh, that's all I could do. Okay, 30 second break. We're going to repeat that. Woo, take a little walk around if you need to. I'm going to kind of clean up my little hot mess here. My dumbbells. Woo, try to stay with that weight that you had. Okay, weight is going to be up. Heels are lifted. Toes are turned out. You guys ready? You can do this. We're so close to the end. Really drop. Now this is what I want you to do for me. I need for you to make sure you are subscribed. It helps this channel out. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and I wanna see you. I wanna see my tribe. I love having it when you send me selfies after your workout. Woo! Come on. Drive through those heels. You need a little pressure in the toes, right? You feel the toes a little bit. Yes, I can. Look what your body can do for you. And then we're gonna go into a quick little shoulder. Nice job. Get ready. We got a little lateral raise. Take a little breather here. And then we're gonna go into a rear delt fly. Grab your waist for your lateral raise. We're gonna go soon, or then later. Get ready guys, lateral raise, both arms. Going in 10 seconds. We're gonna grab our tens. Elbows come up to shoulder height. Yeah, you're welcome, it's only 30 seconds. Rear delt fly, just 15 seconds here. We're just cutting down what we just did. I'm gonna go 12 and a half. Drop your chest. Arms come up to shoulder height. I really need your, your back flat. Push your hips back. Down at the floor. You're gonna keep your mat folded up still because we got two more moves after this. All right, breather. Let's repeat it. Lateral raise. Just 15 seconds here. It's gonna go by fast. Weights in your hands. Pull your shoulders back. It gets heavy, alternate one then the other. Carol's got you. Oh yeah, rear delt fly. I don't know about you, but I'm able to go a little bit heavier when I do rear delt fly. Drop that chest. When you land with the dumbbells, they're underneath the chest area. Just like when you do a pec fly. It's just a reverse of that. Look to your knees for a moment. Make sure your knees are not knocking inward. They point to your toes. Great job. 
Okay, get a quick sip of water. We have a real quick finisher here. Heavy weight. And then lighten the load for squat jumps. We got RDL first. Have your heavy weights in your hands, your toes on your mat so that your heels are on the ground, toes are lifted. Forty-five seconds. In that RDL, remember, you're gonna look to your knees. Feel that stretch in the back of the leg, and then rise up. Now remember, a finisher means you go for it, right? So if you want it harder, like Diane wanted earlier, you don't come all the way up. You just go up over the knees, and then you push back. I have my 15s next to me. I'm gonna be putting these down, going into one squat, and then one jump. Pick it up. You got just a few seconds. Remember, it's one, one squat kind of halfway, and then a jump. Down, half, jump. And you don't have to jump. And know your surface. Oh yeah. Don't rush it. Keep your eyes looking out in front. Come on. 10 seconds. One more jump, one more jump. Yeah. Woo, you did awesome. Yay. Gotta clap it up for them. Nice job. Yay. Woo, walk around. And we're gonna get ready to stretch. I think we're gonna have to find some space to roll our mats back out. Make sure your mat is rolled out. We're gonna go for a big straddle stretch here. So open the legs up wide. Give a big inhale, reach it up. And then you're gonna fold forward here and take a deep breath. Lunge over to your right towards Carol. You can go toe up, heel up, and then shift into the other side. Let's do that one more time. If you wanna add an arm, I like opening up the chest and switch. Back to straddle. And then we're gonna turn into a lunge again, facing towards Carol. Drop the knee, and then reach the arms up. Pushing hips forward, looking up and back. Now take your back hand, reach it down the side, stretch. And then both hands go down in front. Get back into that lunge, and then Twist to the back, so we call that the runner's lunge, dropping the hips. Pulling the back foot for pyramid. Straightening the front leg, nose to the knee. Step back into lunge, and let's take that front leg to a single leg down dog. Boom, it's up here, just doing some yoga now. Bend that top leg, open the hip up slightly to the back. And then bring knee forward into pigeon. Lift the chest, and you're pushing that hip and walk the hands out. All right, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a, I've been using my Apple watch here. You know, I did have one and then I broke it. So I'm gonna give you my uh, count. Active calories, 216. I started it late. Total calories, 274. I call this a functional strength workout. And we're about 40 minutes into it. Step back into down dog. So hands to the mat, down dog. 
step foot forward into lunge and then straddle straight in front. We're back where we started. And then we're gonna turn to Diane into that lunge, knee down, sweep the arms up. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful today. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Back arm reaches down, side stretch. Both hands go to the front of the mat. Straighten out that back leg, twist into runner's lunge. Let the hips relax. Flexibility, mobility, along with strength training, help you with longevity, injury prevention. All right, hand goes down, pull the back foot in, pyramid. Straighten the front leg, nose to knee. Relax your shoulders. And then we're gonna taking it into a single leg down dock. So that front leg goes up to the sky, straight leg. And you can bend the knee, open up the hip. That feels good. Oh, I wish you guys could hear the birds. They are happy. And then down dog. Walk the dog a little bit. And then come into plank, chaturanga down. And up dog or sphinx if you need to be on your elbows. Have back extension. Release down, let's do that extension again. Lift up. And then we're gonna pull the waist up, push down into child pose. Forehead to the mat. Down dog, bring the back knee forward into pigeon. You thought I forgot. It came to me when I heard the bird say it. You forgot, pigeon. And then you're gonna walk it out, or the chest down. It was coming, it just took a little time to get there. And then back into down dog. Stepping that back foot forward into lunge. And then turn front straddle. Grab your elbows. Let the head be heavy. Step your feet in. Roll yourself up. Fix anything you need to, right? Fix your hair. Roll the shoulders back a few times. Oh my goodness, I got a little sweaty. And it was like 50, I think it was like 50 degrees. Is that what the temperature was here? So if we were sweating in 50, you gotta be sweating in your home. Big inhale, reach it out, reach it up, reach it back. Pull it into your heart. And one more big inhale here. Attitude of gratitude. Let it out. Oh my gosh, yay for you. Oh, that was a great workout, you guys. Strength training is so good for longevity. Building muscle, fighting that battle every day, right? So that you can live a longer, healthier life. These guys did awesome today. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Cheeky. Thank you, Diane. And of course, thank you guys. If you enjoyed it, like I said, hit that subscribe button and the bell. It helps me out. But if you want more, click that join button below and make sure you are following me on all that social media. I love seeing you guys. If you want a suggestion for a workout tomorrow, you can do some cardio. You can do some core, some standing cardio core. Those are our favorites, right? And some of those kickboxing are fun because they're working not just your heart, but a lot of your midsection too. You guys have an awesome day and we will see you back at the next workout workout. Take care. This fiery full body workout is going to build fat and burn muscle. It's going to build fat. Wouldn't that be unbelievable?